Hi everyone. Okay, have you ever tried to draw something with your eyes closed? Okay, I'm going to try to draw a cat right now with my eyes closed, okay? Okay. What do you guys think? Does this look like a cat? Kind of, but this cat does not look like what I wanted a cat to look like at all. It's a little messy, right? Well, the man in our Bible story today may have had a hard time doing things that he wanted to do. After Jesus asked why the man was blind, Jesus healed a man who could not see to help his disciples understand that the man's blindness was to show how powerful God is. Like the man's eyes when he was blind, sin makes the world a dark place. And Jesus came to be a light in a dark world, and he helps people see what is true. So first, let's do our verse in the Bible. We are learning about Jesus healing different people this month. And the key passage is from Isaiah 53, verses 4 to 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken smitten by God and afflicted, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. So our key passage tells us that Jesus took on our sickness and sin to heal us from sin and death. Only Jesus is able to save us from sin and heal the damage sin causes in our lives. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives all our sin and gives us eternal life. And the song we are learning is called Waymaker. And we're working on the first part, which says, You are here moving in our midst. I worship you. You are here working in this place. I worship you. You are Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness, My God. That is who you are. And he talks about who God is, that he is this amazing thing that's moving in our midst and working in our place, right? Okay, so that's to the lesson. So three weeks ago, we learned that Jesus healed 10 men and one was saved. Then we talked about a time where Jesus healed a woman and raised a girl from the dead. Last week, we learned that Jesus healed a man who could not walk. And this week, we will look at one more story in which Jesus worked a miracle to heal a person. This time, our story is about Jesus healing a man who had been born blind. So the story is called, Jesus Healed a Man Who Was Blind, and it is from John 9. So Jesus was walking with his disciples when he saw a man who had been blind. And the disciples asked, Teacher, why was this man born blind? Did this happen because of his sin or his parents' sin? So they thought maybe that's why he was born blind, because he did something bad or his parents did something bad. So Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. So Jesus is saying that it is not because he or his parents did something bad, this man was born blind so that people could see God's power through him. Jesus would be on earth for a short time, so he healed people to show what God is like. And Jesus said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Then Jesus spit on the ground, so he went on the ground, right? And made mud with his spit, with the saliva coming out of his mouth and the, probably the sand on the ground, on the, on, and he made yucky mud. And he put the mud on the eyes of the man who was blind, and he told him, go wash in the pool of Siloam. The man listened, he went and washed, and guess what, when he came back, he could see. And the man's neighbors were amazed, and they took the man to the religious leaders, and they asked him how he was healed, and he said, well, a man put mud on my eyes. I washed, and now I can see, he said. So the religious leaders were, guess what? Do you think they were happy and excited for him? No, they were upset 
because Jesus had healed someone on the Sabbath again. So in their mind, Jesus was breaking the law. And they did not want to believe that Jesus could give sight to people who were blind. So over and over again, um, the man who was healed told the religious leaders what happened. The men believed that Jesus must have come from God. But the religious leaders, they were so angry, they threw the men out of the synagogue. So Jesus came to the men again and asked, Do you believe in the Son of Man? And the man answered, Tell me who he is so I can believe in him. And this is what Jesus said to him. You have seen him, and it is he who is speaking to you. So basically, Jesus told him that I am the son of man because I am the one talking to you right now. And the man say, I believe, Lord. And he worshiped Jesus. So what did we learn in the story? We learn that our sin, right? It makes us unable to see the truth about God. Jesus, he came as a light in the dark world. He came to give us sight, to give us true understanding of God and his kingdom. Those who trust in Jesus see who he is and worship him. So the big picture question is, so after, well, so after Jesus healed a man who could not see, the man believed Jesus was God's son and he worshiped him, right? So our big picture question was, why did God create people? And the answer is, God created people to love him and give him glory. Everyone who trusts in Jesus for forgiveness of sin can love and worship him like God made us to do. And try to remember the Bible verse that we're working on. Where is it? Here it is. Isaiah 53 verses 4 through 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrow. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. Okay, let's pray, okay? Dear God, thank you for everything. And we especially want to thank you for Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus as a light into a dark world. And thank you for Jesus who came to give us sight. So we can have a true understanding of God and his kingdom. Help us to trust in Jesus and help us to worship God and glorify God in all that we do. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.